Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lou, and if you didn't know that, now you do. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can vectorize any image that you get uh, from an AI-generated program, right? So just like Leonardo or Midjourney. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is whichever... AI you want to use to generate your coloring books, go ahead. And I'm going to use this one as an example. I've already downloaded it. And this free tool, if you don't have, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> if you don't have um, Adobe Illustrator, this is a perfect alternative to that. Uh, Inkscape is actually an amazing tool that I recently started using. Why? Because I know some people don't have access to Adobe Illustrator, but this actually works really good. There's a few things, actually there's quite a few things that are different, like the uh, interface, but that's not what we're here about, right? We're here to show you guys how we are going to vectorize an image. So first, go ahead and click on File and then Import right? And then choose the image. I'm just going to click OK. Uh, so that's step one, right? I'm going to go ahead and center it. And then I'm going to click here where it says path. And then trace bitmap. Now, this is pretty much the same. I'm going to see. There we go. I'm going to see. Uh, so this is the same as if you were to use the option um, image trace on Adobe Illustrator. So to make it easy for you guys, make sure you have single scan clicked, which is going to be black and white or for black and white. I use brightness cut off. I like that one. Uh, and then you can start to mess around with the, um, with the threshold, right? So let's see. And to see the changes, make sure you have live updates clicked. It's kind of like the preview option on uh, Adobe Illustrator. So I would say I like that. Uh, there's a few things that could change, right? But that's actually, let's change it to five. Yeah, no, that, that's good. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and just apply. And that's it. There we go, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here and if we, I'm going to go here and, okay, I have this one selected, right? This is the original image. And then this is the image trace. So if you guys can, sorry, I'm still getting used to this. I'm using my old laptop for this uh, because I want to show you guys that even if your computer is not that great, you can still use this, right? So looking at the details here, it looks pretty good right there's a few things that you could change right now if we go to the image trace it looks really good as well All right there's a few things that could be edited but it does the job right obviously you want to work on the adjustments right um but there you go this does an amazing job right so uh, this is the original, and then this is the image trace. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this. This is going to be a, again, very quick tutorial or a very quick video because the main thing I wanted you guys to see was one, Inkscape being an alternative to Adobe Illustrator, and two, how fast you can vectorize your images right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you a lot of value uh valuable information and i will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe like and comment on what else you guys would like to see i'm going to try and work a little bit more in inkscape so that way i can show you guys a lot more right um all right so thank you so much for watching and bye